Okay, Dr. Martin again. Uh, just one last little video clip here on the body structure of a spider, which is an arachnid. Uh, remember, we talked about the fact that um, there are two major uh, body parts, so these segments uh, have all coalesced into two regions. The uh, cephalothorax, so the head and the, the and an insect what would be the thorax, have now combined to form one body part. Uh, the abdomen um, is the second body part. You can see the uh, four pair of legs here. In the anterior portion, uh, the head of the animal, you can see uh, here's the little fang-like structure. That's the chalicera and you can see here's the poison gland, um, the chalicera in a spider, the hollow fang-like structures, uh, and poison gland actually empties right into those structures. The pedipalp, here's one of them, again they're on the uh, outside of the chalicera, chalicera are the uh, closest ones to the mouth. You can see also in this diagram um, the, uh, the abdomen here has the silk glands, so these are the spinnerets right here. Uh, we've got a heart, uh, digestive system shown kind of in a paler pink uh, coming through here, stomach area, intestines, uh, and so on. And What's shown here in green are special structures found in some arthropods uh, that are called book lungs. So they're a little bit different than the trachea that I talked about. Um, these are, uh, they're called book lungs because the um, structures look like pages of a book and it allows airflow um, in between and the tissue then absorbs the oxygen and gets rid of the CO2 uh, from the body. Um, and this, this structure right here, I haven't really talked about, but these are uh, the kidney-like structures, they're called malpigian tubules. Um, they're they have the same function as our kidneys and they are to remove uh, waste products and also to um, reduce water loss. So those are located right here. Okay, so that's all I wanted to say about the arachnids. I just wanted to make sure that you saw a diagram um, of uh, the structure of a spider. Arthropods, particularly insects and spiders, are small. They're very difficult to dissect um, because uh, you have to get through the outer exoskeleton and then the structures inside, um, the muscles and so on, are very delicate. It takes a certain type of person to do a dissection on, um, say, a grasshopper or or a spider. Uh, so we're going to have to rely on diagrams for some of those.